Um, I'm actually losing my mind because I've been working like so much lately. Oh my god, did you hear that? My wrist was just like um, probably because I've been working like every fucking day and I'll be working every day this week um, at Ulta. So <laughs> come visit me and stab me in the neck with a mascara wand. Thanks. Today I will be doing my monthly <laughs> favorites or my current favorites, I guess, uh, because honestly, I haven't done one of these in pretty much a year. Do you like my gothic ass makeup today? <laughs> I look like an Adams Family reject today, but we're still gonna film this video. So take my advice or don't, but I'm gonna tell you some of my makeup favorites and I'll start with my newest. My newest makeup favorite is the Born This Way Foundation. You can't work at Ulta and not buy new makeup. So I bought this foundation because my other foundation, um, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation was actually breaking me out like a lot. Um, so I thought that was kind of weird because I do love their, their concealer as a favorite, but I love this, um, for under my eyes and hiding my blemishes, but I don't like their foundation. I do love the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced. Um, I do think it looks extremely natural. I applied this foundation at 9.30 this morning and I haven't put more on. I think it really does a good job covering. Um, the only thing I touched up with was concealer. So I really do love this foundation. I think it looks extremely natural and dewy, um, but not like oily at all. And the kind that I got was, I got it in the shade Nude and I really love it so far. It doesn't break me out. It's oil free and I really recommend it. I don't know how much I paid for it. I can't remember, but I really like it. So I think you should get it. I um, got this for my birthday from Sephora and it is the Peter Thomas Roth anti-aging cleansing gel. Cause you know, I'm 25, I'm getting pretty old. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I, I know a lot of you guys think I'm old as fuck. Um, but it is a gel cleanser. Again, doesn't break me out. I have very sensitive skin. So anything that doesn't break me out and just leaves my skin feeling really clean, I love. And I'm loving this. So I might get the full size. I'm gonna use this up and see um, if I still like it. Um, but it does have glycolic acid in it and salicylic acid, so it's kind of like an acne treatment along with a cleanser, so I really like it. After I wash my face and tone, I like to use my Inner Peace Serum. Now, the reason I like this is because I am an esthetician and it does have like the strong smell of lavender. It has essential oils in it, and in school, we would always put on a, um, a lotion or a serum that had essential oils in it and it's very natural this is organic I believe it's from the brand Lotus Way, like W-E-I like what the fuck I don't even know what that is but I love this and wash your face and you don't apply like a very moisturizing uh, serum or something like that your skin will actually overproduce oil to make up for the lost oil so it's having something like a serum or a uh, creamy moisturizer will really help your skin and it will heal it while you sleep. So that's a little tip for you. My lips have been so chapped and it is the Nivea, um, these little lip butters. This is the vanilla and macadamia. It smells amazing. Um, it is kind of like a Vaseline-ish consistency, but it's extremely smooth. It's the, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite chapsticks and it doesn't come off for like a while. So really love these little guys. I know there's one that's pink too. I've been like obsessed with Kylie Jenner lately. I know I'm so embarrassed. Like I, I don't like her as like a person, but I love her makeup techniques. And I love her like makeup style, if that makes any sense, but I don't like her attitude. I think she has a terrible attitude. So it's kind of weird because I like her face, but I don't like her. <laughs> so I do have the Whirl Lip Liner. Um, she was known to use this. Obviously she uses new stuff now, but the Whirl Lip Liner is one of my favorites for like a very natural, but um, if you wanted to overdraw your lips a little bit, it's great. Um, it looks kind of like your lips but better and along with that I've been liking the 
Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, and this is in Sultry, and it is just the prettiest color. It, again, just a pretty like mauve color, and it is a matte, so it looks natural, but it looks like better than your natural lip color, if that makes sense. Two more makeup products. I have this ghetto-ass contraption. This is my e.l.f. High Definition Setting Powder. I freaking love this stuff, even though it is the messiest shit ever, and I lost the lid to it because I'm really irresponsible. But the setting powder itself, this costs $6, and the setting powder is so finely milled that it makes your skin look flawless when you put it on. Um, I do recommend using a setting spray over because it might leave you looking just a little powdery if you use too much, but it makes your makeup look flawless. So I actually really love this. Then I have my Lorac Pro palettes. This is the original. I know they're coming out with like 17 more that are like the Mega Pro 2 and like whatever, but this one, I don't want to blind you guys. This one is by far my favorite. It just has all the colors that I need in my life. Um, I love nude and champagne and mauve. And then the darker colors in my outer V. But this palette is like everything. Like if you don't have a palette and you're looking to get one, but you don't know, like say you have the Naked palette, but you want like a different one, the Lorac Pro Original is amazing. So look into that. Um, and then I have two self tanners, which are life in the winter. If you're like me, I get super fucking pale, obviously. Um, but when I do choose to self tan, and I love getting an, a tan one step, like I don't like Jergens, fuck Jergens, fuck tanners that are like Jergens. Um, but these self tanners will make you tan the first time you use them, and they will not come off for at least, I wanna say at least five days, and then you'll see it starts to like fade. But they're very natural, they don't turn patchy. You're gonna really like both of these. So this is Bondi Sands. Um, this is from Australia. It is a self-tanning foam in the color dark. I wanna admit with this, eat both of these because your hands will get dark. I find that certain ones apply better with my hands, so it's like, whatever you want to sacrifice but I do love them both this is the Saint Moritz this is definitely a dupe for Saint Tropez and I got it at Ulta I've been getting it at Ulta it's $12.99 and this I believe is like $14 and I got it on Amazon and they're just both I got the mist and this is the mousse and they are amazing like you will be fucking bronze as fuck you will be like you're going on vacation like I love these when I'm going somewhere the next day, a date, whatever, because it looks just like you went and got a spray tan when you use these. So I totally recommend St. Moritz in dark and Bondi Sands in dark. They are amazing, 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 amazing. They are my favorite of all time. So that pretty much wraps up my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not like all my other story times or anything like that but I do want to throw in makeup videos here and there because it is my true passion in life. Let me know if you guys have any more video requests and leave them in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!